Hey everyone, uh, my name is Sev and I'm a core contributor on the Universal Data Tool. So if you haven't heard of the Universal Data Tool, um, it's a way to edit and build data sets. It's totally free, it lets you collaborate with people in real time on the same data set online, and uh, you can edit text, image, video data sets, uh, and it's also super easy to use the data format uh, in your programs um, to, to actually build your models. Uh, this is our first community update, and I'd like to use these regularly to get more people involved with the Universal Data Tool and get more feedback to make this tool as useful as possible. Um, so with that, let's jump into some recent updates. The first new feature I'd like to show off is auto segmentation, which we can find in the new pixel segmentation option. So we click on pixel segmentation, we scroll down to automatic segmentation engine, and we use auto seg. So simple is used by default. Uh, eventually we'd like to use AutoSeg by default, but we're still working on some memory issues. Okay, so if I go to samples, I hit zero. I can begin uh, roughly annotating the region. And notice I'm doing it very roughly. This is not a, a quality annotation, but hopefully AutoSeg will help fix that. Um, and maybe I'll say this is an eye, and I'll say this is a, a uh, I guess I don't have face in here, so I will say nose, <laughs> just as to, to show the example. And we can see that auto segmentation is already starting to work. I can come in here, hit background, and uh, it's actually already computed a pretty good um, hairline, which we can go in and refine more. So let's say we wanted to really get a good hairline here. It's it's done a pretty good job. Maybe maybe it's gone into some other parts. So all I got to do is come in here, click the parts it missed, select hair, and uh, and we can gradually annotate all the regions we want. Um, and uh, it's kind of getting some of this region. So again, I forgot to put like skin, but I could just kind of hit nose and, and refine this until it does exactly what I want. And uh, this this works really well on a certain data sets. So this could be a big, um, big boost to productivity. If you're uh, interested in helping out with uh, sort of auto segmentation or, or diving in deeper and making that work. Um, the algorithm that we use is called AutoSeg and uh, it's written in WebAssembly and uh, or, or it compiles from C++ to WebAssembly, it runs in JavaScript. And uh, this repository needs uh, a lot of work, but um, it's there. And then we also have React Image Annotate, which is the, uh, which is the thing that uses auto segmentation and is pulled into Universal Data Tool. So these two libraries combined together um, give you everything you need. We've also introduced uh, translations this week. So previously we only offered everything in English. Now you can click this and switch to French, or if you'd like, to uh, Chinese. We're still working on these translations and they probably need a lot of work. I think we just use something like Google Translate. So uh, if you'd like to contribute to this, uh, I can show you quickly how to do that. So if we take a look at our universal data tool repository, we can go inside the source directory. And then I18N, which uh, stands for internationalization, it's commonly used, and then locales. And then we see CN, Chinese, English, and French. And you're welcome to uh, kind of change these just by clicking on them. And uh, there's a file and it, it has all the tags and then the translation for that tag. So you can literally just kind of fix these in GitHub. So very exciting. Uh, we finally have a Docker container that will run the project uh, really easily. So I can just do Docker run um, and then uh, set the port 3000, 3000. So we want to export, expose port 3000, universal data tool slash universal data tool and I can run this, and then it will run the universal data tool 
on uh, localhost 3000. So I can go to my browser, type in localhost 3000, and the universal data tool is running. So this is a very uh, this is a very nice way to run the tool. Um, the desktop application still has um, a lot of features that this doesn't quite have yet. So you might want to use the desktop application if you're looking for the easiest way, but this is still very nice to have. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you're interested in uh, hearing, hearing more about the Universal Data Tool um, and our updates as we go on. Uh, I just want to plug quickly, we have a contributing guide. If you're interested in getting started contributing, this will walk you through some things you need to know. And uh, we even have a video that uh, will show you how to um, submit some code and, and start working on it. Uh, and if you just want to chat, maybe you're having a problem with the Universal Data Tool, uh, you can hop on our Slack and uh, we're happy to help. Thanks.